Hello dear students, welcome to 10th standard social science geography. Uh, today I am presenting highlights of the lesson number 5, India water resources. Let us discuss them with all the highlights. Sheet number 14. Make use of all the worksheets without fail. Why is National Power Grid established? The answer is the National Power Grid established to supply power from surplus states to deficit states. What is irrigation? Irrigation means supply of water to agricultural feed from canals, wells, or tanks artificially or manually. Why do we require irrigation in India? Indian agriculture depends on monsoon, whereas monsoon is uncertain, unevenly distributed, and seasonal. Therefore, irrigation is required in India. Mention the types of irrigation practiced in India. Well irrigation, canal irrigation, and tank irrigation. Well irrigation types. Open well, and tube well. The types of canal irrigation are flood canal, perennial canal. What are the aims or objectives of multi purpose river projects? First of all, providing irrigation facility, production of hydroelectric power. Prevention of floods, these are the major aims. Rest of subsidiary aims like creating facility for water transportation, providing water for domestic and industrial use, preventing soil erosion, developing fisheries, and also to enhance forest wealth. Mention the important multi-purpose river projects of India. Damodar Valley Project, Bakranangal Project, Hirakut, Pungabhadra, Upper Krishna, Kosi, Narmada Valley Project and Nagarjuna Sagara Project. Rainwater harvesting is compulsory today. Why? Although India has vast water resource, it is most unevenly distributed. Rainfall is confined only to the rainy season, that is from June to September. Even in areas of heavy rainfall, water shortage is seen during summers. The only solution to the drought condition prevailing in India is Rainwater harvesting. Dear students, this is the map given in the textbook. Kindly locate those multi purpose projects in your map. You please draw the map of India and locate all these multi purpose river valley projects. It will definitely help you. You may have one mark to locate one of these. Now, let us know about important projects of India. Damodar River Valley Project. This is the first multi purpose river valley project of independent India. This is a joint venture of West Bengal and Bihar. Earlier, River Damodar was called Saro of Bengal. But today, big dams have been constructed 
across its tributaries at Kilaya, Maitan, Konar, and Panchet Hills. Thermal power stations are also built at Bokaro, Chandrapur, and Durgapur. West Bengal and Jharkhand have been benefited from this project. Bakra Nangal project. It's a joint venture of Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. Even Delhi also gets benefit of this. This dam is built across Satlej River in Himachal Pradesh. The reservoir created by this dam is called Govinda Sagar. Bakra Dam is the second highest dam in India, whereas Tehri Dam is the highest dam in India. Kosi Project The main objective of Kosi Project was to prevent floods. Earlier it was called Saro of Bihar. This is an international project. It's a joint venture of India and Nepal. A dam is built across Kosi River at Hanumanagar on the border of India and Nepal. Hirakud project. This project is constructed across Mahanadi in Odisha near Sambalpur. This river was known as Saro of Odisha because of floods. Hirakud is the longest dam in the country. Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh are the beneficiary states. Tungabhadra project. The major purpose of Tungabhadra project are irrigation and generation of hydroelectric power. Karnataka, Andhra, Telangana are beneficiaries of this project. This dam is built across Tungabhadra River at Mallapur near Hospet in Vijayanagar district. The reservoir is called Pampasagra. Nagarjuna Sagara project. This dam is constructed at Nandikunda village of Telangana across River Krishna. Irrigation and generation of hydroelectric power are its main objectives. Narmada Valley Project Narmada Project Authority was established to share water and use it for multi-purpose. It is a joint venture of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Three states get benefit out of Narmada project. There are 23 dams constructed in the total length of the river Narmada, namely Sardar Sarovar, Narmada Sagar, and Narmada Upper project. Now let us see India's major hydroelectric power projects of few states. Number one, Karnataka. In Karnataka, we have Shivana Samudra Hydroelectric Power Station, Tungabhadra, Jog, Badra, Alamatti, Kali, Supa, Kadra, and Kodasalli. In these areas, we have hydroelectric generation stations. In Andhra Pradesh, P. Shailam Project, Ramapadasagar Project, Sileru project. In Telangana, Nagarjuna Sagar. In Tamil Nadu, Metur project, Paikara, Periyar, Kunda, Moyar, and Kodayar projects. In Madhya Pradesh, Banasagar, Gandhi Sagar, Pench projects. Maharashtra hydroelectric projects are Tata Hydroelectric Power Project, Veera, Vaitarana, 
and coin our projects. Here is a match the following for you. This is the question given in the textbook. Let us see the correct answer. Bakra Dam, there is a Govinda Sagar reservoir for it. Pampa Sagar is for Tungabhadra Dam. Lal Bahadud Shastri Sagar reservoir for Alamatti Dam in Bagalkot. Baso Sagar for Narayanpur Dam. Dear students, I wish you all the best. Keep watching SPSS Online Learning. For more details about the lesson and entire textbook. I wish you all the best. Thank you.